Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning Good morning, morning Ah, welcome, welcome each and every one. Of course, it's uh, yet another morning. Yet another Friday morning talking sports. And of course, I want to thank uh, Adana for holding on the fort um, in the first half hour. But we're going to delve into some local sports. Um, this morning we have um, secondary schools football. And we're going we're gonna to also be talking about um, an historic event here in Tobago, the Dream 11 T10 Blast. And I'm going to hear from Mr. Cohen John later on. But first and center, let me say good morning to Cyan Dean Blackman. Um, second Vice President of the Secondary Schools Football League. Um, she's also the Treasurer and Secretary of the Tobago Zone. Correct. I got that right, right? Correct. Fantastic. I, I like I like your jersey. Well, oh, good morning to you, Marcus. Good morning <laughs> to Tobago at large. Yes. Well then, my jersey. <laughs> I, like, I like the jersey. With like all the sponsors Fantastic. of the league. Yeah, and good to see Shell and, and, and Food Citizen and National Gas Company supporting um, the Secondary Schools Football League. Um, Sandine, Football in Tobago, secondary school football in Tobago in full swing. I mean, every single day. You can drive to any venue in Tobago. You're going to see primary school football, secondary school football, and of course, Tobago Football Association League. But we're going to be talking about secondary school football this morning. Um, you know, just the progress of the league. I mean, we had you guys at the start of the tournament, and then you talk about so many good things in store for the season. Let's an update. Right, good morning again to everyone. Well, as Marcus correctly said, mm. we have football every day, yeah. Sunday to Sunday. Yes. So just a little breakdown of what happens yeah. during the week. Yeah. On uh, Sunday, we start with the girls' championship. Mm -hmm. On Mondays, we have uh, under 16 boys. Mm -hmm. On Tuesdays, we have two, wrong, two sets of competitions. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, three sets of competitions. We have the under 15 girls competition, mm -hmm. we have the championship boys competition, and we also have the premiership, premiership division yeah. competition on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. On a Wednesdays, we have the girls under 13 and boys form one under 13 competition. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays, we go back to the championship, the championship girls competition. Mm -hmm. Then on Friday, we have the under 14 boys competition. Then Saturday, we have the championship mm -hmm. boys competition and premiership division. Mm -hmm. And then the cycle just continues. <laughs> and in terms of in terms of venues to, to have all these matches and, and officials, um, are there any challenges in, in that department? Wow. Challenges in that department? Venues is a challenge. Well, currently, mm -hmm. be previously, mm -hmm. Scarborough Secondary School has been using Shore Park Recreation right. Ground, right. but mm -hmm. now Shore Park <laughs> is closed. So yeah. they now have to I find it. <laughs> another venue <laughs> they now have to find another venue for their games yeah. so they are currently working on that because they have a home game okay. tomorrow okay. so i have given them a deadline of midday today also oh, schools so, schools have like home grounds yes uh, schools or, have or home grounds grounds. probably in the proximity of, where proximity the schools of okay. schools. so okay. the schools would um lays with the division of the right. administrator of right. sports and try to locate a home ground where their games will be right. where their games will be played okay right so that is the that's the main issue we have with grounds right, right. now the other mm -hmm. schools have their grounds like Compre, Compre Compre have would okay. use this school yeah. mason hall is using the mariah recreation right. ground right. uh so Roxburgh Secondary is using the Roxburgh Secondary School grounds. Mm -hmm. Pentecostal Light of Life is using the Montgomery right. Recreation Ground, right. which is in Bethel. Mm -hmm. Space Side, of course, is using their Space Side mm -hmm. ground mm -hmm. at home. Did I forget anybody? Right. No, I think I <laughs> right. think yeah. that's it. And, and the matches are uh, normally uh, what what three forty five. Uh, and... Yes. So the Championship Boys matches are mm -hmm. at three forty. Mm -hmm. Premiership Division matches are at three thirty. Right. Um, the lower division games, which mm -hmm. are under 15 girls mm -hmm. and four more. under 15 girls, they are 2 p.m. Under 14 is at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, on Wednesdays, we have four mm -hmm. one boys and the girls under 13 at Jubilee Park. Mm -hmm. The girls would play at 2 p.m. The boys would play at 3 p.m. Uh, Jubilee Park is by Sanchez. So yes, Jubilee I always Park found that going to be a really nice going and under youth and yes. under, under yeah. So I'm happy to hear that matches are, are, are played, played are played there. Yes. Sir. Right. Um and in terms of the standings now, I mean, who are the teams that are are dominating these different divisions. But Marcus, before we go to these yeah, standings, yeah. you asked me as oh, yes, you uh, asked me another about question about officials. Yes, yes, yes. That is posing to be um, Yeah, because the games are like really, so many and it's stretch. 
because yeah, they're also yeah, doing really primary schools football, correct, secondary so, school, correct. and then they're doing TFA. Correct. So I have taken mm. up the mandate of after yeah. this season that mm. I am going to assist the right. Tobago Referees Association ah, to do mm. a referee recruiting drive in yeah. Tobago because it is needed. Yes, yes, you know, yes. we have all these issues and people focus more on the issues mm. instead mm. of trying to look for solutions to the problems. Right. So we right. have so many students in school doing physical education Teacher. and sports, yes, that's right? Important. And we have so many sport enthusiasts mm. out there mm. that I think that if we work together as mm -hmm. a community in Tobago, we would be mm -hmm. able to do some recruiting in terms of finding yeah. referees yeah. in order to do yeah. so enough referees to do the games yeah. across the board. And what better place to start than the schools? Correct. I mean, and as you mentioned, physical education being taught at schools. Correct. And you'll want, um, you know, the, 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 the students to have that, to, to get an introduction into actually refereeing. And I mean, Correct. once you understand the game, I think it will help your game as well. Correct. You know, and before we even get to the standings, right? Um, of course, I've been following the, 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 the Secondary Schools Football League on social media and I want to commend you guys for putting all the information out there because in the past, I mean, it, it used to be hell to get information. Obviously, as somebody into the, in, in media. And, and I saw a situation where um, it, is, it was mentioned that some, some coaches or some clubs are uh, restricting their players from participating in the Secondary Schools League. I mean, you want to clear the end of that situation? Um... Initially, when we started, we were having that issue when yeah. a certain, well, one of the schools in Premier Division contacted right. me about they having right. a player or two players mm -hmm. that are part of a club in Tobago mm -hmm. and they have been stating that the mm -hmm. student is not allowed to play for their school. Right. So I took it up on myself as the secretary of the zone to contact mm -hmm. the coach of the club. Right. Well, I'm not going to go into how, yeah, yeah, how that yeah, went, yeah, yeah. but I haven't heard the school made any complaints okay. thus far. Right. So I am going to assume that everything is on yeah. track and everything is going yeah. okay. And is it, is it mandatory that once you are a, a student mm -hmm. that you have to play for your school? Actually, it's not mandatory, but it is preferred. School right. comes before club okay. and also okay. it's, it's up to the parents as well. Right. But we try as much as possible to have the mm -hmm. students give their schools first yep. priority yeah. in terms of representation. Fantastic. Because, we, I mean, over the years, I've, I've heard track and big complain about the same thing in terms of intercolor and all these different things. But um, I'm happy that one I've actually um, earned itself out and hopefully it doesn't raise its head again. Um, in terms of the, the standings. All right. So I'm going to start with the, <laughs> the highest division it's in Tobago, division. which is the Premiership Division. Well, currently, the we space side, we have two, two schools, schools yeah. participating in yeah. that division. Space side, mm -hmm. secondary school, and mm -hmm. Bishop's High School. Yeah. So currently, the space side, secondary school, is in ninth position on the table this, with 14 points. This after points. getting to at least 15. I saw them on the table at least fifth. They, they were, were, they like were five at five points off the standing. Now at the 11th game, right. 11th round of game, right. they are now in ninth. Right. They are on 14 points with, I can't remember the school. Right. However, they mm -hmm. are, the school is... On 14 points as well, but right. have a goal, goal difference. difference of one, okay. one okay. goal in front of and them. And how many games How many games in total they have to play? 15 games because there are 16 teams. So there are four more games. So they have four more games. And how many teams will get relegated? Three teams <laughs> will get relegated. <laughs> and Bishop's High School is currently in, in the, the relegation zone. 15th position. Wow. Also can, with four more, four more games remaining. So can they save their season? Um, for them to save their season, honestly, they would have to win all, all the remaining games okay. that they have okay. in order to save to right. save their season. And the situation is, um, the Tobago winners will get promoted. Right, and right. the Tobago winners have already been declared in oh. the boys' championship division. Yeah. So the winning school for the boys' champion yeah. Cha championship yeah. division is the Signal Hill Secondary. The boys of Signal Hill Secondary School. Mm -hmm. So they are now going to represent Tobago in the Big Signal Five. Hill? Correct. Big up, big up Signal Hill, big up Signal Hill. It's, it's not my alma, alma. Not your alma mater, <laughs> no. but your daughter. But, but, so, <laughs> support. Support, yes. Support. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, they are going to take part in the Big Five competition yeah. to try to claim one of the top three right. spots in order to be promoted to the Premiership Division in 2024. Oh, good. So, they begin their quest on Tuesday next week it's at legal. the Signal Hill Secondary mm -hmm. School ground. Mm -hmm. They will be facing the winner of the Central Zone. Right. However, that have not been... Incredible. That's decided okay. that should be decided by today okay as they play their championship division games on right, a friday right. okay mm -hmm. right so so big five for compre big five for big five for compre, right right and, keeping and, it positive yes keeping and it first positive. game first game on tuesday first, and first the, game on tuesday. so it's going to be a wrong robin right it's a big a five. Wrong and then the so we're playing teams. two games we right. have four games in all yeah. two games in tobago two games in trinidad oh fantastic fantastic right so in terms of the girls now in the girls 
Well, um, Scarborough Secondary School okay. is uh, more or less set to win. Right. Well, defend their title because they were the winners of the last okay. Big Five okay. girls' mm -hmm. um, competition. Mm -hmm. So they are bound to set to win their to, division. To, to However, defend their title. They defend their title. Yeah. However, it is not yet cleared as they drew yesterday oh. against bishops high school so there's a chance where bishops can still win no not bishops oh. not that bishops can still win currently oh. yeah. the based on the standings right. now signal Hill secondary school is now on top right by gold difference oh. however given hand Scarborough secondary school still has uh, a game in hand. hand right that, that right goes, so yeah. in order for yeah. if Scarborough secondary school loses any right. of the three remaining matches right then the goal difference is mm -hmm. most likely going to determine right. the winner of the girls and division. The, and in, in those three matches, Comprina in those matches? No, Signal Hill okay. not in those okay. matches. I okay. think they are going to face um, Speyside, Roxborough, mm -hmm. and uh, I think Pentecostal okay. Light and Life. Okay, cool. yes. And in terms of the other, the other divisions? Right. So the other divisions are young. Mm -hmm. They have now started. So right. like the under-14 division have right. started on the 3rd of October. Yeah. Ho however, on the... 10th of October, we didn't mm -hmm. have any games because of the Tobago oh, yes, National yes. Okay. Convention yes, of yes. the Tutor. Yes. So games continue today. Right. So that is very premature to right. speak to, to okay. that division okay. as well as the other divisions. Other divisions. Um, with the under-16 division though, mm -hmm. I think that Signal Hill Secondary School will mm -hmm. have to right. choose their mm -hmm. battle in terms of is either they want premiership mm -hmm. Or they oh. want on that because the okay. players the are same over, players, okay. the players okay. are overlapping. I understand. So they need mm -hmm. to choose their focus. Right. So that is a <laughs> mandate that I am that mm -hmm. they, that is something that they are yeah. thinking about right now. Which one are they going to, to okay. give up? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um we, in terms of the under 15 girls division, we know Sigur Secondary School was in mm -hmm. are the national defending Na yes, yes. national champions. After the first round of matches, they are the only team that is unbeaten right. thus far in the competition, wow. and they are way ahead of. Compre Compre of seems goals. to have a really good program. Right, the... and then the under 13 girls start, and Signal Hill Secondary School again is okay. in front. The okay. first game they played against Scarborough Secondary School, they won that game 3 1. So mm. they are also in mm. front of yeah. for the yeah. running for the under 13 girls. Yeah, and I think, I think my producer has a. Um, of course, a shot of the, the standings of the Premier Division. And obviously, we're aiming for players to play at that level. Correct. Uh, that's where the, the, the scouts will normally be. Yes, right? yes. And this is the Premiership here. Premiership here. Uh, Fatima College. Nice. Fatima. Uh, Sawa North. Yes, um, Naparima. Of course, um, traditional schools that you know we normally be up in the, in the, top, top, the top tier there. Um, St. Benedict's, uh, St. Anthony's presentation. I remember North. Uh, Speyside, as you mentioned, they are in ninth position. Played 11 games. So it's, it's still it's still a lot. I mean, they can actually try to finish at least seven or Correct. six, which will be a, an improvement, that, improvement, uh, improvement from, last last, from last, last season. Performance, well, yes. Wow, Bishops. Wow. Three. Well, uh, Bishops, I think it prepared oh, to come back 12, home, Bishops. 12. Yeah, 12, Bishops. Let Bishops prepare to come back home. They are 15th. So they have to win all the remaining games. Yeah, wow. And hope that the other Trinity College East well, and Pleasantville yeah, doesn't win yeah. any more games well, as well. I want to wish um, Coach Goddard and his team <laughs> all the best. Um, it seems an impossible task, but who knows? That's sports we have in time. Before I let you go, right? Um, any, anything you want to um, add? I'd just like to thank mm -hmm. the whole of Tobago for supporting the Tobago Zone and yeah. the secondary schools football. And mm -hmm. we ask you to continue to support us mm -hmm. right we are uh, we it's for the development of the kids it's yeah. for the development of football in yeah. tobago on a whole yeah right so we just need to come out and support these yeah. support the kids yeah. even if you don't have a kid in a, yes. a secondary yes. school playing on a team yeah. come out and support yeah. fantastic I want to thank you so much for being with us here this morning uh, of course uh, tobago updates your home for sports every friday morning uh, we're going to take a short break but don't forget to share the live share the live and when we return we're going to be talking the best sport in the world, cricket.